<laughs> nice of the princess to invite us over for a picnic, eh, Luigi? I hope she made lots of spaghetti. Luigi, look! It's from Bowser. Dear pesky plumbers, the Koopalings and I have taken over the Mushroom Kingdom. The princess is now a permanent guest at one of my seven Koopa hotels. I dare you to find her if you can't. We gotta find the princess. And you gotta help us. If you need instructions on how to get through the hotels, check out the enclosed instruction book. to another episode of the four o'clock game as we give you our final installment in the Super Mario Brothers trilogy so today I'm going to show you another game that I'm going to play after I play all the first two Mario games for the NES including the first Super Mario Brothers game which was a masterpiece one of their one of the best long-running game in the franchise that has become one of the most iconic video games of all time well, it's pretty good. I finally beat the game in the last one, in the last episode. But, I also did beat Super Mario 2, which I think, um, yeah, it's a great game for the NES. It's not bad, but it's that introduced new characters to the new, to the, the entire whole new world of generation of characters, including Shy Guy, Snippets, Ninjas, or Hoop Stars, and Beretta. Keep your eye on the sparrow. Yeah, yeah that's something let's talk, talk about. Beretta, the television show. And there's also um, some other good stuff on the, all these new characters. There are a lot of stupid, goofy olive ball characters on there. Yeah, those were memorable and loved. But this is actually a great game for because you know why? I did my playthrough of this in my 4 o'clock game recently. And now... The moment you all want to wait for, I'm going to show you to you guys is something that I would like to, sh to freak you. If you've seen the movie The Wizard, if anybody saw the movie The Wizard, well, you think about it, there was a scene is where they made his first look into the video game and was in that, that, that attraction, what they called, when it used to be called Universal Hollywood, at the event was filmed there. It was like kind of like Pee Wee Herman going into the, the film studio at Warner Brothers at the time. Well, but this time it's kind of like more like Pee Wee's Big Adventure or something. It's kind of like that. Like he's going to run around the film studio in the scene. Yeah, that used to be the King Kong uh, tour. That was when burned to the ground back like 2008 or so when, that, when Universal Hollywood was burned. Halfway burned to the ground. Well, I cannot believe no, no explanation for that. So, if you have seen it, The Wizard, enough. Get a load of this. I'm going to present to you once again on this edition of the 4 o'clock game. Can you guess what it is? You're right. That's what the guy says in The Wizard. Yep, this is Super Mario 3 for the NES. And you know what? This game came out in 1990 for the NES, and it's made by, you guessed it, once again, Nintendo. You know, um, this game is a, it's pretty good. It's a simple game. It's even been the first game. But it's got some cool characters they, they, they brought back. 
the, the, the main characters from the first Mario game, and you know what? Mario 2 was kind of like an absence or so, was kind of like a, an absence from the, the Goombas, Koopas, and the, the, the Bowser and the other people, also other characters, that best known love from the first Mario game. This is even, this is even greater, and this is probably one of the best game on the NES. And for those of you who have been saw the movie The Wizard, yep, this is, this is just for you guys. I know a lot of you people have seen the movie The Wizard, if you saw that, that kind of like the first glimpse in the video game. It's kind of like they rush into promotion or something to make a, a game. Like when, you, when they first saw a first glimpse at, the, at, the, at the, this game was featured in The Wizard. I can't believe this. This was from a 1989 movie, just like it was a year before the NES came out. I mean, this is a pretty simple game, and it's like, well, it's a pretty good game. I haven't played this in a long, long time. And it's still fun to play. I highly recommend playing this game as, as well. It's probably one of their all-time favorites. It's probably the, the best of all the other Mario games on the NES. So we're now, we're now, and now what we're going to be doing right now is we going to show you some of the stuff that I can actually want to play this game. But <clears throat> I actually watched the film The Wizard. It was a good movie. And, you know, Fred Savage and uh, the other stuff. I think I like this movie a lot. I might do that in the probably in future episodes. You know, if you saw my five awesome movie guys episode, well, if you haven't checked it out, go check this movie out. As uh, check out my movie review of this of this film, The Wizard. It's on the five awesome movie guys. I actually explain that. And of course, the game is pretty fun and it's pretty more tough to play. So uh, <clears throat> if you go to like the levels or you can play bonus stages and everything. Yeah, very fun to play. A lot of great disgrace for the game. So, it's pretty fun. Hats off to Nintendo and the people. Yeah, and that's all, that's all there is to say about it. But, I will stop right now for the first half of the video. And I will go to a more abbreviated thing. I'm going to show you my playthrough of Super Mario Bros. 3. As we return to... My playthrough, the first ever playthrough of Super Mario 3, right here on the 4 o'clock game. Stay tuned.